Hi parents, it is Friday night. I'm still here in the office and ugh, my phone's been blowing up today. Good news, maybe good news, maybe not good news. Let's talk about deferrals. Um, a lot of schools released today and some people were deferred. And what does that mean? Deferral doesn't mean you weren't good enough. It doesn't mean that there were other people who were better. Deferred means they haven't had a chance to review your application. The reality this year is schools were bombarded with applications. You know, normally we see students apply to five to seven schools. This year, the average was about 15. And trust me, it wasn't us encouraging that many schools. Um, students feel like with the test optional policies, they have a better chance at reach schools, so they're sending to more schools, to more selective schools, to more reach opportunities. And that's great. But they also have to understand that comes with some baggage. It comes with some issues, like all the deferrals. So I heard that Michigan went through all their Michigan students. Don't know that this is true, just repeating what I heard, and because I didn't hear it straight from them. And that their out-of-state students, they were sending out mass deferrals because they didn't have time to review all of those applications. I have students in Michigan who were accepted. I have students in other states who were deferred. So I kind of feel like that might be a legit statement. I have students from other schools who were also deferred. And I'm wondering if that's not also the case. But the most important thing for you to remember when you're talking to your son or daughter and they're melting down and they feel like their confidence is gone and what's wrong with them and why didn't they get in, they might not have been reviewed. It's okay. It is not a personal affront. It is not, you're not good enough. It's not other people were better. We haven't had a, time, had a chance to really look fully at your application, but we told everyone we'd send some sort of decision by the end of January, so we're sending a deferral. And so now's an opportunity for your child to reach back out to the school to include important information. I had a student a couple of weeks ago, he was deferred from Georgetown and he sent me his letter of continuing interest and it talked all about how beautiful the campus was. I said, the people reading it are on campus. They know how beautiful it is. Stop telling them what they know. Tell them something important. Tell them awards that you've won during first semester that weren't on your application. Tell them what your grade point average was for first semester, because that wasn't on your application. Tell them about something new that you've done, some class that has been a challenge, but you've been really successful in. Tell them about some part-time job you've taken, something that you have done that shows them that you're not just sitting back coasting through your senior year. Tell them how it is your first choice, but give them a specific reason, and the beautiful campus is not a good reason. The location, that the fact that they're in a city, not a good reason. Because if it doesn't differentiate them from any other school, it's not a good reason. So mom and dad, if they say, well, you know, I'm going to say, you know, oh, I love the urban environment and the fact that they have, you know, access to so many opportunities. Could I say that about any other school? Because if I could, not a good thing to put in there. So be specific. What classes do you want to take? What activities do you want to get involved in? What clubs do they have specifically? What professors are you interested in learning from? If you can't answer all of those things, then you know what? Maybe it's really, you're just trying to rack up that acceptance more than you really wanted to go there, more than you really knew why you wanted to go there. So, you know, this shouldn't be all about just being able to say, I was accepted. I got into 13 of my 15 schools or 15 of my 15 schools. If it's not one of your top two schools, don't write a letter of continuing interest. Don't do it just get, to get that acceptance because there are students out there who really want that acceptance. Let them have that opportunity just like they should be letting you have that opportunity for the schools that are your first choice, okay? So it's not just about racking up acceptances. It's about where do you really want to go? And then putting your best foot forward to show them why you'd like to be there, but also what you've done to earn the opportunity to be there. So what have you done this first semester that you can put? Letter doesn't have to be long. Just, you know, hey, it's still my number one choice. 
I'm really excited about the opportunity to do X, Y, Z. During my senior year so far, I've done this, 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 and this. I'm hoping, you know, it shows that I am a student who's qualified to be part of your group. I'm gonna put a link to a blog I wrote this week. You may or may not have seen it yet, but a blog I wrote this week about how do you craft that letter? What kind of things should you put in there? Really important, but parents, it's okay. It's not a denial when they are deferred. And with the number of applications, I mean, almost impossible. And here's another way to look at it. If your child doesn't have the absolute top grades and test scores, like the absolute, you know, 4.7 GPA on a four point scale, a 35, 36 ACT, a 1580, 1600 SAT, if they're not at the absolute top for some of these selective schools, it's a gift that they deferred your child. They're gonna take a look at the whole application, but they just haven't had time. And if they were forced to do it, it solely would have been on grades. That's the quickest way to get through those applications. So it's it may have been a gift if they weren't at those stats because they didn't resort to just sorting people by grades and test scores. So they're gonna take a complete look at the application. They just didn't have time. In Michigan, they prior, prioritize Michigan students. Everybody else, you're in the same boat. It's okay. Other schools, similar things. So it's okay, take a look at the blog post. I'll post it right after this and hopefully that helps. I know it's really rough. Focus on the acceptances you have. I mean, there are people out there who want you. We'll talk soon.